Welcome back. There's not a single drop of water in the community of Klipfontein in Hauteng, and residents say enough is enough. Residents are once again without water for the sixth day running. They're now frustrated as this isn't the first time they've experienced water shortages. Earlier this month, the community staged a protest about being without water for two weeks. And as a short-term solution, Ekuruleni Water had redirected water from the then-empty Ekuruleni Reservoir. However, the solution only lasted about a week. Our reporter, Ngobile Matlala, has been tracking this story. Let's cross to her live now. Ngobile, there are few things worse than being without water. And for this community, it seems to be a persistent problem. What exactly is wrong? Well, definitely a persistent problem from what we've heard from some of the community members here. They've told us that this goes back as when they even started staying in the area. Some of them telling us that it goes as high, like the last time it went as high as about 11 days. Others say that now um, it's been over six days without water. Now, you will remember that ENCA was on the ground here speaking about the water issues immediately after our reporting. That was addressed. That's when they told us that they were going to read directs the water. The community was quite happy knowing that they were moving, moving from one reservoir to another, which they clearly said that reservoir was empty and therefore that was the issue. And now it seems even after redirecting the water, that problem has not been addressed. As a result, the community now has had six days of no water. But I want, you to, I want to speak to some of the leaders in the community who knows this problem too well. So perhaps give us an explanation. Um, how have you been so surviving for the past six days? Uh, so the survival here has been uh, hard. Uh, in the past days, uh, there has been a man arrested where we used to fetch the water. So the pipes where we were fetching the water, there was a man arrested and charged. So he was, uh, he's out now on bail. So we don't know where to get water because uh, in the past three days, the trucks has not been coming. And if the trucks are not coming, and even if the trucks comes, the water that they come with is not clean. Uh, I have a, my wife just suffered three days of diarrhea because of that uh, water that she drank from the she drank from the uh, the truck. So uh, the, the, this issue is affecting the community as a whole. Business has stopped. Uh, people are cannot uh, children cannot go, even go to school because of this issue. I mean, of course, when we were here, you had a solution. There was a solution that was given to the community. You did get some water. What happened? So, I, to my surprise, uh, after that connection they did from the uh, city of Johannesburg, then uh, they cut it water again for six, six days. Now they are telling us we are under Cliff Fontaine Reservoir. We don't even have a reservoir here in Cliff Fontaine View. Later on, they were telling about us about chlorocop not being full. So we don't know. Are we supplied by chlorocop? Are we supplied by rubber ridge? Are we supplied by midrand? We want to know the answers. We want clear answers. Who is supplying us with water? So that we may know who to complain to. Uh, 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 this issue is becoming, uh, it's continuing every day. It's continuing. And of course, you're speaking about they. Who exactly do you pay for the water in this area? So uh, we pay our water to city of Johannesburg. But when we call city of Johannesburg, they tell us we've been supplied by uh, city of Ekrule. When you call city of Ekrule, they re refer you back to city of Johannesburg. To my surprise, the trucks that comes here, they will tell you they're coming from city of Johannesburg. Why is city of Johannesburg uh, uh, giving us trucks but can't supply us with water? Because we pay, our statement is written city of Johannesburg. So we are paying our water to city of Johannesburg. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I want to just bring in the lady here. You will see that we are in a crash. Um, the children here have to also continue with schooling despite the issues that the community is facing. Um, I want to bring in the crash owner. Ma'am, it's obviously been very difficult for you and your kids to, 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 to carry on schooling without water. <laughs> Rona, business star Rona, I'm not alone here. Maybe the creatures around here, they are eight or nine. So, but not about Rona, give it toilet. Always was an amazing, Bana, they want to do a second poo. Bana, I have a toilet poo. So, I have a toilet poo, recuperate the parents, or the 35 liters, I made. So, five liters, I had the mix, more toilet. 
Mwana oi wana aga kene mo toilet ka 5 liter. It's 2 liter. So for una, as you can see, but it's the 2 liter te, but since like ene kamola, they must wash their hands. And then ya ka har real covid, hona no. Go center tlhape matsogo always. Le bana ba ba tsentse ba tlhape matsogo always. So ke tswang ka ka emedi nna, a gore bana ba dile ba tlhapa matsogo always gore ba ke ba ba le di gems. Ra go pa tsetswe, ra go pa city of Johannesburg. Do something because we are paying. Na myself I'm paying 1100 rand every month. Bill ya metsi sela, no electricity. So ntse e ra affecta ha whole, ha whole. And I end up as community relwan because na ra tlo ke phone ke phone la eh rent hotel hore e tshe metsi on the street ha e tla track ya metsi e tla na ho feeling na then people around here but or na ka bona ke khona phone but ba tlisa metsi monna ha ba tlisa monna ba tlisa mo rena ka o fela because we are all suffering so ke kopa ba etse something ba re tse tse mosa ba re tse tse metsi because ana ya metsi ya bana ba ka sawana I must boil it before they drink it. Wa bona re ke mosebetsi o mong. Ba nkokeletsa mosebetsi. Wa gore ke phehela bana ke tshwantse ke boile metsi gore bana ba tle bana. Fonna ke mosebetsi o mogolo. Ra go pa tsetswe. It been a long time. Maybe it's for the fourth time this year. Re ba le this crisis around the fountain. Why is the fountain only? Okay. Because ba re boleletse gore reservoir ya rona eng ka clore copo. Ra ba And then and what else? All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I understand, Mama. Um, as you can hear there, just the frustration from um, the crash owner, just speaking about the fact that it's very difficult to um, obviously um, have the business working without water, as well as the fact that the kids need to wash their hands and also to release themselves at this point. And that's very difficult for them to carry on the business as normal when there isn't water. She's saying that it's the fourth time this year this has been happening and it's making their lives difficult. But also just the leaders in the community explaining that there's a lot that's happening at the moment. They're saying that there's even a man now with a criminal record because of the fact that they went and opened a municipal um, a fire hydrant without having the right to do so and as a result now he has been arrested for doing that but the desperation on the ground just very very difficult for everybody and very clear that there is some desperation already but they're asking the coj of course to attend to the issue but they're saying that there also is a conflict in terms of what is happening. They pay to the city of Johannesburg, yep. but the city of Eguruleni is apparently the one that are giving their services. In fact, we are going to the city of Eguruleni to find out exactly what okay. is going on. All right, Mobile, we'll catch up with you later then, and hopefully you'll have more answers for that community. They seem to be in a really, really bad way.